Okay, now we're going to look at an example with a 3 by 3 matrix. So we'll find the eigenvectors and eigenvalues for this particular matrix. So the first step is to take a look at a minus lambda i. So I subtract lambda from the diagonals. Now I take the determinant and set it equal to 0. this case, if I look at this middle row, I've got a bunch of zeros. So I'm going to expand along there. So it's going to be plus, minus, plus. So that means across this row is going to be minus, plus, minus. So when I take the um, determinant, I'm going to have zero. I'm going to remove that column, the middle row. So it's going to be times the determinant of 10 minus 1, minus 10, 1 minus lambda minus, oops, sorry, it's going to be minus plus, then 8 minus lambda. So I move this middle column, middle row, times the determinant of 3 minus 1, 3 minus lambda, minus 1, 5, 1 minus lambda, and finally minus 0. So I'm going to remove the third column, middle row. Set that equal to 0. Let's see, that's going to be 0 times something, so I can ignore that. 0 times something, so I'm just left with this term. So I'm going to have 8 minus lambda. Now I take the determinant of this along the diagonals. I'm going to have 3 minus lambda times 1 minus lambda minus a minus 5 times minus 1 there equals 0. So let me expand this out. Now notice I've got an 8 minus lambda times something. So I already know lambda equals 8 is one of my eigenvalues. And I'm not going to uh, expand this any further than that because I'm, my, my goal is to factor this as much as possible. So it's going to give me 8 minus lambda. This will be 3 times 1 minus lambda times 1 minus 3 times lambda plus lambda squared plus 5. So this will be a lambda squared minus 4 lambda and 3 plus 5 gives me the 8. So as I said I've got lambda 1 is 8 and now I need to find the zeros of that. Uh, I don't see how to factor it immediately so I'm just going to go to the quadratic equation. So uh, the second and third eigenvalues we have a minus a minus 4. The minus 4 squared is 16. Minus 4 times 1 times 8. All divided by 2 times 1. So this will give me a square root of minus 16 over 2. Now square root of 16 is the 4. And then the square root of minus 1 is i. So I have lambda 1 is 8. Lambda 2, I'll take the positive. So that'll be 2 plus 2i. So I divide by the 2. And then lambda 3 is going to be, oops, sorry. It's going to be the negative square root there. So. Here are my eigenvalues. I'm going to do this one first, because that will be hopefully be the easier one. Then I'll do this one, and then I won't have to do this one because I can just take the complex conjugate of what I get from there. So lambda, oops, lambda one is eight. That's what I'm going to do first. So I'm going to subtract eight from the diagonals. So that'll give me a minus 5, 10, minus 1. All right, so let me just write here the system. So I have minus 5, 10, minus 1 times some vector, which will be my eigenvector, x, y, z. Should give me 0, 0, 0. 
along here I'm going to have 0, 0, 0. And here I'll have 5 minus 10 minus 7. And then for my augmented matrix, I'd have a 0, 0, 0 there. I'm going to just ignore this. This is always going to be zeros. So let's see. I'm going to leave row 1 alone because there's my pivot. I've already got a 0 there, and I want a 0 there. So this is going to take row 3. And if I add row 1, I'll get a 0. So I'm going to leave these first two rows alone. So it'll give me a 0. Minus 10 plus 10 is 0. Minus 7 plus minus 1 is minus 8. Um, now, if I want to be pedantic here, I could say I'm going to just put this into echelon form by swapping those two rows. Or I could have just gone for here and just try to interpret what this means. So what does this mean? So using this row, this row says, remember there's an imaginary 0, 0, 0 here. So this row says that minus 8z equals 0. So z has to be 0. So that's a pivot. That's going to be a pivot. What does that say? That says then that uh, minus 5x plus 10y minus z is 0. I know z is 0. So I can substitute that in. Again, x is my pivot, so I'm solving for that. Subtract 10y from both sides. Divide by minus 5. So x equals 2y. So my eigenvector associated with 8 is x, y, z. x is 2y. There's no restrictions on what y could be, so I leave that alone, and I know z is 0. If I factor out the y, the eigenspace is anything times 2, 1, 0. That's going to form a basis. So I'm going to use lambda 1 equals 8, and just arbitrarily set my eigenvector to 2, 1, 0. Okay, now I'm going to look at the 2 plus 2i case. Oops, that's going to be lambda 2. It's 2 plus 2i. So I'm going to subtract 2, my, 2 plus 2i from the diagonal entries. What will I get? I'll get a 3 minus 2 is 1 minus 2i. My eigenvector will be x, y, z. And I know I'm going to get a 0, 0, 0. So this will be 0. 8 minus 2 will be 6 minus 2i, 0. A 5 minus 10, 1 minus 2 will be minus 1 minus 2i. So my augmented matrix. First row will be 1 minus 2i, 10 minus 1. I'm going to have a column of zeros there. I'm just going to ignore those. 0, 6 minus 2i, 0. I'll have a 5 minus 10 minus 1 minus 2i. So let's see. So this is going to be my first pivot. I've already got a 0 there. I want to make a 0 there. So what am I going to do? I'm going to take, uh, let's, let's go back. I'm going to take 1 minus 2i times row 3 and subtract 5 times row 1. So I'm just going to take that number times row 2, sorry, row 3. So 1 minus 2i times row 3 minus 5 times row 1. Um, let's see, if now if I do that, let's see. So I'll have 1 minus 2i times 5, which is, oops, that number there, minus 5 times that number will give me 5 minus 10i minus 5 plus 10i is 0. So that's by design. So let's see. So I leave the first two rows alone. I get a 0 there. Now let's see. So here I'm going to have 
let's see, 1 minus 2y times minus 10, right, minus 5 times, which is this correct? Minus 5 times 10. So I'll get minus 10 plus 20i. Minus 50. So this will be minus 60 plus 20i. Okay. And then finally here I'm going to have 1 minus 2i, and for the row 3, I'll have minus 1 minus 2i. Minus 5 times row 1 is minus 1. So if I FOIL this out, I'll have minus 1 minus 2i, and this times this will be a plus 2i, and this will be a plus, minus a minus, will so give me a plus, times 2 squared is 4, times i squared, and this will be plus 5. So I have minus 1, that's minus 2i plus 2i will be 0. Minus 4 plus 5 gives me 0. Okay, so now this is my pivot. Let's see, so now this is going to be 10, 10 times that. So I'm going to take my row 3 and add 10 times row 2. I leave the first two rows alone. I have 0 plus 10 times 0. Minus 60 plus 60 is 0. Plus 20i minus 20i is 0. And then 0 plus 10 0 is 0. Okay. Now we're in row echelon form. So I just need to interpret what this means. And again, for my augmented matrix, I'm just going to assume there are zeros there. That row tells me nothing. This row says 6 minus 2i times y is 0. So y is 0 divided by 6 minus 2i, which is 0. Get rid of this. This row here says 1 minus 2i x plus 10y minus 1 times z is 0. x is my pivot. I'm going to leave that alone. I know that y is 0. I'm solving for that. So I'm going to add z to both sides. So x is 1 over 1 minus 2iz. I want to get that rid of that. I want to put this in uh, rectangular form. So I multiply top and bottom by the complex conjugate. get that. And if I FOIL out the bottom, I get a 1 minus 2i plus 2i minus 2 squared times i squared z. If I clean that up, this is going to be, uh, that's going to cancel. This will be a minus 1, so I'll get 1 plus 4 is 5. So that's 1 fifth plus 2 fifths i z. So my eigenvector associated with 2 plus 2 i, it's an i, it's x, y, z. x is going to be 1 fifth plus 2 fifths i z y is 0, z is a free variable, Oops. so looking at here, there's no restriction on what z is, so I leave it be. And I'm going to factor out the z. And my eigenspace is going to be any, vector, any number times this thing. Um, I could let z equal 5 if I want this to look nice, or just let z equals 1. It doesn't matter. So what do I have? I'm going to have, be careful here, 
My first eigenvalue was 8. The eigenvector associated with that was 2, 1, 0. The second eigenvalue was 2 plus 2i. Two the eigenvector associated with that, I'm just going to use 1 fifth plus 2 fifths i, 0, 1. And then lambda 3. So the complex conjugate of this is going to be 2 minus 2i. And the eigenvector associated with that is going to be 1 fifth minus 2 fifths i, 0. And there's no imaginary component to this, so that's just going to be 1 for the complex conjugate. And here are my eigenvectors and eigenvalues for this matrix. Right. And you should be able to go through and check to see that you can diagonalize this thing if you let... Oops, sorry, this should be the matrix V. It's going to be constructed by using... The columns are going to be the eigenvectors. use that eigenvector then this eigenvector the eigenvalues are 8 2 plus 2i oops I'm going to make this bigger and then 2 minus 2i so you could use that to diagonalize this matrix A if you wish. All right.